From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Tuesday's top story is another setback for the struggling tourism industry and the overall economy. The Malia Resort and Cable Beach closing as of March 1st for two years for full renovations. It's going to mean that around 300 persons are going to become redundant. Tourism Minister Diagula's reaction. It's very unfortunate news, and I obviously I feel for uh, for those employees. Their intention was to do it piece piece. Um, obviously, if there were guests in the hotel, the best way to do it is to have one half of the hotel generating revenue while the other half is under renovation, and then to switch over and do that. And they just felt it was more cost effective, given the fact that we are in this period of low occupancy, to. Um, to, to shutter that hotel. The resort's general manager says when they reopen, current employees will be given every opportunity to come back to work. There is some good news on the economic front. The Fusion Superplex, which has been closed for almost a year, now has permission to reopen, which means that close to 100 staff will be going back to work. The office of the prime minister granting permission yesterday. Company officials say both management and staff are celebrating that decision. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. The investigation has been completed and a Defense Force officer is now facing rape charges. 35-year-old Ronaldo Wilkinson arraigned on the charge in court yesterday, accused of having sex with a 32-year-old woman in Marine without her consent, the incident in Inagua. The coronavirus numbers for Sunday are in. They're low. Six confirmed cases, five in the capital, one in Grand Bahama, 14 persons in hospital, two in the ICU. Health officials say they're waiting results from more than 50 samples they've sent out to determine if there's any of the new variants of the virus here. 27-year-old Aaron Coakley fined $1,000 for groping a 12-year-old girl in a convenience store. He told the court he was high on drugs at the time and the incident was accidental. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, a frontal system approaching from the west. There'll be associated weather in time, especially in the north. Partly sunny, humid today, highs from the upper 70s to mid 80s. 79 at Freeport, 84 in the capital, 84 at Matthew Town. Caution flags up for boaters, winds increasing to 20 knots behind the front. The sea's up to 6 feet over open waters. Next tide is a high around 11 this morning, next low about 5 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the low to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They wish everyone a safe and prosperous year. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. They offer a wide range of insurance products. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. The Tribune has reopened to the public. So if you're selling a car, truck, boat, or computer, call us today on 502-2398. Advertising in the Tribune's classified trader works. So call us on 502-2398 or email classifieds at tribunemedia.net for your quote. And let us help you get cash in your pocket. There are great deals to be had every day. So get your copy of the classified trader every Monday through Friday. Only in the Tribune. The People's Paper. Biggest and best. Tuesday's World News headlines. Weather continues to make news in the U.S. Most of that country dealing with frigid air from Canada. Cold air all the way down to the Gulf Coast. It's affecting travel in a major way. And to make matters worse, another major storm is on the way. Good news on the U.S. coronavirus front. The numbers are going down in that country. Hospitalizations now have since the beginning of January. The world virus totals more than 109 million cases, more than 2.4 million deaths. But cases are slowing due to the vaccines, and most countries are now focusing on reopening plants. Tribune's gas tracker prices, Shell 437, SO439, Rubus $4.39 per gallon here in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports section. Shawnee is talking to the Tribune Sports about dealing with the coronavirus situation. Big news for LaShawn Hicks and Jonquel Jones, both playing basketball overseas. Read about it in the Tribune Sports. 22 points for Buddy Heal last night against the Nets, but the Kings lost at home to Brooklyn. Get the rest of the NBA news and the latest on the Australian Open Tennis Tournament. 
in the Tribune Sports Tuesday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.